Let's talk about my knees. Oh. You gotta wear these Ted socks for like two weeks to keep from getting blood clots. No one wants that. Got my meniscus um, trimmed up in this one about a month ago. And then uh, two days ago, we just had this one done. You gotta unwrap it, it's like Christmas. See what the, the doctors did in there. Pretty interesting content, right? I'm actually super excited about this. It's been super itchy. You just can't get in there for two days. Check out these $20,000 knees. <sighs> oh yeah, that, that feels good. Getting old, man, kind of sucks. I scraped a little bit off those rocks that I came over. And obviously this is like many years in the making, right? Like learning to ski at the ripe age of 30 in a rainforest, all backcountry. I just crashed over and over and over again and just put my body through a lot. All right. All right, we'll be listening for rocks. Yep. There's some. <laughs> Jesus. Just a lot. But that all just seemed kind of normal until this summer. I'm having a midlife crisis. So what's the best time for you? Today is day four and I am supposed to fly today and that makes me really nervous and I've spent a lot of time thinking about that and I mean there's obvious reasons. If I fall out of the sky, I won't feel nice. I don't know that I've been in the top of my sport for paddling and skiing, but I definitely have felt in control of my decisions and in control of understanding the dynamics that go into making that sport safe. This is a whole new thing. Not only am I like competing with this weather that's, you know, 100 degrees or 90 degrees, full humidity, something I'm not used to coming from Alaska. But I'm also dealing with like this kite and this machine that I have no experience with. The only way for me to safely fly is for me to just let that all go and just listen to this guy on a radio. And that scares me. So all that stuff about control, that's good advice. But the part I didn't talk about was that I had torn the hell out of my meniscus this summer before. I mean, look at this flapper. That's supposed to be smooth. And I had to run around with that parachute and motor on my back wearing this knee brace and I kept tripping and falling which is an unnerving experience but really I've been wearing that brace for the last year trying to ski trying to run trying to work it's better than nothing it let me live my life but man it was painful not very good Come back to 
the left. Now turn left slowly, reduce your power. Re pressure, pressure, brake now, brake now. Well, now brake, 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 turn around quick. So I did fly, and I guess in that sense I did succeed with that class, but it definitely felt like a failure because I wasn't comfortable, I wasn't in control, I couldn't do it independently, and I haven't done it since. Something to learn there. And hopefully this phase of my life is over. It's about control and it's about accepting that I don't have control and it's about understanding that in this facet of my life, this one time today to do this, I don't need control. It's nice to be in control, but it's definitely okay to not be in control. Sometimes we just have to give pause and rest. And as boring as it is, we just have to heal. And I should be skiing in a month and a half.